Hello, everyone, and thanks for tuning in. Um, Foul Territory Cards. Uh, I'm going to be opening a couple of packs tonight. Um, a few days ago, I ended up buying some of the Baseball Collector's Edge boxes at a local Walgreens. I think they were like five seventy nine dollars a box. Um, contained a bunch of miscellaneous junk, pretty much. Tops, upper deck, score, um, Fleer, all kinds of stuff. Late you know, kind of the 80s, 90s, that sort of thing. But uh, both of those boxes had a sealed pack in it. Um, one had this 1991 Series 1 Leaf set. And the other one had a 1991 Series 1 Score pack. So I think we're going to open open these and maybe a couple of these uh, top Series 1 2023 and see what we get um, out of these. And I think we're looking for any of the, you know, I think there's some Bo Jackson, I think um, Nolan Ryan, Ken Griffey, um, some stuff like that would be pretty cool to to get out of these. So let's, uh, let's start with the leaf and we'll come back to the score. Let's see what we get. Puzzle piece on the back. All right, let's see. Set this guy aside. Hmm. All right. Move on. Jack Daughtry. Juan Samuel. Who is Bobby Witt? Um, Bobby Witt Jr.'s father. Pretty good player, I think, in his own right. Pretty cool. And we'll put him up there for now. I really like the leaf um, design here. Um, very simple, but it's just very clean. Pretty sharp looking cards. Uh, Paul Gibson, Lou Whitaker. Let's see, so far nothing really to get excited about, but I, I think that's to be expected, but you never know. All right, didn't find any Bo Jackson, Nolan Ryan, or King Griffey Jr. Setting these aside. All right, let's go to the 1991 Major League Baseball Score Series 1, and... I think we would be looking for probably the same guys in this pack, the Bo Jackson. Uh, man, it would be cool to get get one of his early cards. Um, wouldn't uh, wouldn't be mad about pulling a King Griffey. That'd be pretty cool. All right, let's see. Randy Milligan. Wayne Edwards, Milt Thompson, Brian McRae, Dan Petrie, hmm, what do we got here? Yankees again, let's see. 1937 World Series Trivia. I don't know if you can, if that's shown up or not. World Series Trivia. 1937. Yankees again. Pull that in in case anybody wants to uh, pause and read that. Kind of a cool little inclusion there. Hmm. All right. Let's see. A couple cards left. Dennis Boyd. Mike Fitzgerald. Gary Pettis. <laughs> okay, well, it's always fun to open old packs like that. I'm never going to complain, um, but nothing very cool in there. So moving on to, let's do a couple of these um, 2023 Top Series 1. These are just the, uh, the cheapo five cards per pack. Um, you know, can you let me know in the comments, is it possible to still get 
any of the autograph cards or you know relic cards in a in a pack like this these cheap one dollar packs or is it they're just the base cards if you know let me know in the comment section all right let's see what we get Alex Wood, O'Neill Cruz, Pete Alonzo, okay, not too shabby, consistently good hitter, all right, Taylor Rogers, Kyle Stowers, rookie, hmm. okay, nothing uh, exceptional there, let's do a couple of more. happy to grab a Rockies card. I know that the Rockies are not very good. They haven't been good for a while, but um, living in Colorado, you know, you can't help but root for the uh, the local team. Aaron Judge, it's a good looking card. All of his cards are real sharp looking. Nice. Okay. Couple of rookies there. All right, let's do let's do a couple more. I've opened a good amount of these, uh, you know, cheap one dollar card packs. Um, just again, five cards per pack. I've never really pulled anything. Um, crazy out of it and that's why I guess in my mind I think it's they don't even include you know the autograph cards or relic cards in here tried to do some digging online couldn't find anything about it one way or the other so again if you know please let me know okay nothing to include no rookies in that one. Max Castillo, rookie. I guess it's not surprising that, you know, it's all pretty much just generic base cards in there, you know, for only a buck a pack, but it's fun to just rip packs, so not going to complain. Well, there you go. Corey Seager. He, uh, again, they just won the World Series. He played phenomenally. It's a cool card. It's good looking. Nice. Put him up there. Let's see what else is in here. Matt Chapman. Yeah. You know what I got? I think I got six more up there. Let's just... Let's just do them all. Well, it's not too bad of a card. It's good looking. I like the uh, the color on that card. Really pops. Nice. All right. 
five more. Let's check it out. Patrick Wisdom. There we go. That's a good guard. Nice. Altuve. So close this year again, but so far away. Brad Miller. Okay, Jordan Alvarez. Future Stars, CJ Abrams. All right, we got three more packs. Bad. Joey Votto. I really like Joey Votto. I hope he comes back for one more year, at least next year. I think he's still got a little bit in the tank and can pull it off. I'd like to see him back with the Reds, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Orioles team card. All right, two more packs. Let's see what we get. Pat and Smith. All right, there you go. That's uh, not a terrible card. Just the base rookie, but not going to complain about that. If you've seen some of the previous uh, videos from the last couple of days, you have seen me pull this. And, you know, to have two versions of his rookie card, a gold and a base, I always enjoy pulling cards like that. Okay, putting those back up side by side. That's definitely probably the best card um, that I've gotten out of any of those Series one, just five card packs. Okay, we got one more. And again, pointing out no autographs, no relics so far. Really just leads me to believe that they don't put anything like that in these cheapo packs. There we go, Shohei Otani. Very good looking card. Anytime I get a uh, Shohei card, I will set it aside. Seth Brown, Buddy Kennedy, Keegan Thompson, and we end with a Ryan Helsley. Okay. Again, let me know what, uh, what you're thinking in the comments. Um, should I get some more of those Series 1 cheapo packs? Just a buck at you know, any dollar store or anything like that. Um, I like opening that many packs in a row. It's just fun. You know, it's just nice to tear, tear wrappers open. It's fun. But uh, I don't know. Should we do some more Series 2? Some of the hanger boxes, blaster boxes? Should we go back to the update? try something completely different. Let me know in the comments and I will see you on the next one. Please like the video and subscribe for more. I really appreciate it. Thanks.